welcome to this week's photo diary and our first photo diary from on the island of Arran. North Sanex. This intriguing coastal forest has a very different set of trails for you to explore. You can wander through the woodland next to the shore on an easy level track looking out towards Butte or climb through the trees to see the stunning views over the Sleeping Warrior and the north end of Arran. North Sanex is on the Arran Coastal Trail. Diary, 6th of October, 19, North Sandwich. We had a nice, calm crossing on the ferry, and as we approached the island, the sun came out, albeit briefly. We drove the short distance to our planned overnight stop for our first night on the island. We're a day early, it was supposed to be Monday night. It's a nice spot, but very busy. We had some lunch and it was not raining. Lindsay headed off for a walk. My back is playing up so I stayed and played radio. There is plenty to see and do here but very busy with vans and people coming and going. Reasonable weather today though it is a bit windy. Chilling to the radio and the sound of nearby diesel heater is the order of the evening. Boy. Are they noisy? Thankfully, the diesel heater went off early. We have not had the heating on so far this trip. It's soon time to head off to bed and look forward to tomorrow. And we're listening to the rain. We're not looking forward to listening to the rain, but it's nice to listen to when you're tucked up in bed. Seventh of October, nineteen. Die Mill. Not a good start to the day. Desmond's and Electrics are playing up again. I tried all the usual: resetting the controller, took out the PCU, checked it over, and put it all back together again. It did have a loose board. It's working. It's not working. And soon after, so I checked all the fuses as some of the electrics were working. I found a wiring problem. More about that in a waffle. And I found a loose wire, all put back together and working. So it is time to head off on today's journey. Admin and touristy bits. First stop, a visit to the Aran Aromatics and the Aran Tea Shop. Electrics not playing up again so Lindsay explored while I had an excuse to avoid the shops. Next we head for Brodick and the tourist information to supplement our online research. Then time for lunch at the Little Rock Cafe after the tourist information recommended it. We were disappointed to be honest. Time for admin. Aaron has excellent facilities for motorhome waste disposal. They call it Scotland in miniature. Well, the whole of the UK could learn a lot from this island. We also checked out parking for a walk tomorrow before heading for our overnight stop. 
On the way, we stopped off at a viewpoint to watch a rescue helicopter and of course, the views. On arrival at Dye Mill, we settled in and explored the area after a copper. Lindsay went for a walk to explore the clearance villages and the old mill that is here. It is mostly missing, but a lovely walk. Later, we head out to collect a geocache. This one is more difficult and in a location, but Lindsay found it and badly in need of maintenance. Perhaps the geocachers on the island need to, to maintain caches and think quality, not quantity. Then we head back to Desmond to feast on the spoils from the Aran cheese shop. They do a very nice blue cheese and it's soon time for bed. It's getting darker earlier these days. Dye Mill. This wood is on the site of an old water driven mill and it is involved with the finishing of woven cloth. There are contrasting walks allowing you to enjoy a landscape rich in both natural and archaeological heritage. You can enjoy walks out in the open moorland at Uri Lock. Eighth of October, 19, King's Cave. We left our overnight spot and headed down the coast to Whiting Bay. We were parking for the Glen Ashdale Falls. We had a quick lunch before we set off, but then the wind and rain started. So we decided to abandon the walk and headed off down the coast after fueling at Whiting Bay. We reached Kildonan, but it was very wet and windy. It was here that I noticed a standing stone I recognised. There was a geocache nearby and it was collected. We filled with water here at the site. Then on to a spot nearby at Easemores to try for a different waterfall. Too wild and exposed to the weather here, so we moved on. The car park at King's Caves is sheltered, so we decided we would stop here for the night. Lindsay had a walk through the forest trail towards the caves, but did not make it again due to the weather and time of day. Me, I'm fixing the heater. A board in the heater has come loose, causing the connection to break. A temporary fix is carried out until I get it home. We settled in to watch the video and photos we have shot, and I tried a dram before bedtime.
Kildonan is named after the Irish monk Saint Donan, who is believed to have lived for here in the 6th century. It lies at the southeastern extremity of the Isle of Arran. Reached by a loop of a minor road, dropping to the shore, the village stands out for two reasons. The first is that it's home to an excellent beach, which offers stretches of sand, a rarity on Arran. And the second is more immediately obvious as you approach it. The view south over the village to the Ayrshire coast and the islands of Plada and Ailsa Craig are simply superb. King's Caves. Historic's King's Cave is one of several locations in which Robert the Bruce is said to have had his famed encounter with a spider. The circular trail heads down to explore a dramatic section of coastline with a series of caves. Join us on Friday when we explore this part of Aaron in video. Or next Monday where we explore Locranza, the distillery and Machri Moor in another photo diary. For watching Desmond Stoners. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.